Hello, and welcome to TMC's how-to demo series for Dynamics 365 Business Central, where we explore the features of Business Central. If you can't find a demo for your role or work position, let us know in the comments below, and we'll try to make it happen. Today, we're going to be going over how to work with items. In this video, you'll find out how your Business Central system can be used for those quick and basic tasks and activities. My name is John Hoyt, Solution Specialist for Technology Management Concepts. Let's get started. In this video, we'll cover how to create a new inventory item and the details needed to use the item in Business Central. We'll add a photo and other attributes to the item. And finally, we'll adjust the quantity of the item. Let's see how this works. I'll bring up my Office 365 and then Dynamics 365 and then Business Central. Now to create a new item, I'm going to need to get to my item master. I've got a bookmark on my home page, but I could also go through the drop down menus. I could use the search function. But I'll just click on my bookmark, take me into the item list, and I'll click on the new button. Now I'm going to use a no sales tax template here that will speed up the creation and make sure that all the items get treated the same way by the system. Now I'm not going to use the auto assigned number. In this case, we've already given it our own internal number. So I'll change that record. This is a new conference table for a boardroom. I can add additional details at the header level. If I have anything that needs to be added in. On the inventory tab, I'd be able to see the current quantities or as transactions are moving through the system, these values will get updated. What shelf does it live on? What's the net weight, the gross weight, etc. On the costs and posting tab, I'm going to specify the inventory valuation method I want to use, the unit cost for the item. To the right of that, you can see I've got the different posting details already assigned as part of that template. On the prices and sales tab, I'll indicate what the list price for the item is going to be here. And then I could use the special prices and discounts capabilities if I need to set up special pricing for some customers or a certain discount. I can have those discounts set to expire on a specific date and then things will roll back to the previous pricing, etc. In this case, I'm just going to leave it at the unit price level. On the replenishments tab, I need to indicate how I will get more of this item. I could either purchase it, assemble it, manufacture it. In this case, I'm going to purchase it. So I'll indicate the vendor that I'm going to purchase from and include the vendor's item number. Planning allows me to establish when it's time to order more. So I could put in things like my reorder points, my reorder quantities, men, maximum inventories, etc. Next, I want to add in an image of the item. So I'll import a picture. So when I add this into my item catalog, it will have a picture like everything else does. Now, the item attributes that are here are a result of the image being analyzed by Business Central. And it's finding a whole lot of different things that it could potentially include for me whether that was chairs or tables. So I'll go ahead and use that as an attribute in this case. And then it'll bring in my picture. It'll bring in the item attributes that I've requested, et cetera. I'll hit the back button. I've saved my record, so my new item is available to be used. 
And the last task I need to do is reflect the fact that the vendor has sent me over a sample. And I want to include that in my inventory now. So I'll adjust my inventory level in my main warehouse to reflect that I now have one. Click OK. It'll post that batch. I've now got a quantity of one item on hand. So in conclusion, we've gone through how to create a new inventory item, how to add a photo of that item and other attributes, and we've adjusted the quantity of that item in our inventory master. That wraps up this video. If you have any questions or would like to make a suggestion on what we should cover in the next video, please comment down below. I'll do my best to answer your comments. But if you need immediate technical support, I invite you to visit our website, www.abouttmc.com. Also, don't forget to like this video and please subscribe to our channel.